afternoon, guys, and happy Friday to all of your sunshiny faces, guys. I've got a redemption haul to share with you guys after a not so great haul last week. I had an awesome cashier that was actually like, um, she's like, okay, you know, my dad was like, I'm gonna put in my number. So like she knew ahead of time and she's like, okay, good. We'll make sure all your coupons come off and everything like that. Cause I told you guys last week, I had an issue with them not, um, because we had such a small haul. So like it didn't give the system enough time to process it and all that kind of stuff. And um, when we went to the manager last week, he was not the most helpful. Didn't even give us back actually the difference of what the coupons should have been. It's a whole headache. So. Um, this week, like I said, the cashier we have was awesome and um, didn't have any problems. Everything rang up at the right price. The only thing I didn't get, I was going to get at Jewel was lettuce. They had it in the ad for 69 cents, I think, and they didn't have it at our store at that price. And I've noticed this too, I think I told you guys, with the Roma tomatoes, I had the exact same thing happen before, where um, they're listed in the ad at that price, but they're not, and they don't come up at that price at the store. So what I'm wondering is because we actually shop at a different jewel than the one we most likely get our sales papers from because there's one in our town but so that we can go to caputo's and valley produce all the other stores that we really like to shop at also um so we're closer to those there's a jewel that's right there so we normally hit the jewel and then we go to caputo's grab their pizzas which currently we've got going in the oven right now and it's stinking hot out i didn't think this through well enough. I actually think they have take and go pizzas where you don't have to pre-cook them um, or you don't have to cook them. They're already made at like at, from there, like sort of like a basically a pizza place um, because they have their like catering, like their bar um, and restaurants that's actually in the store. So we could have gotten those. That would have been smarter than turning the oven on for 25 minutes at 425 degrees. But like I was saying with Jewel, so I think that the ad that we get might actually be for the one over there and then theirs don't come up at that price so like some of the stuff is sometimes different maybe a little bit and they do say that too sometimes like you know if you're shopping at one store they might not have it that same price at a different store if you get an ad from like that place um so like you know I'm, i think there's like you know stores in indiana or whatever jewel Alaska stores i probably went there it'd probably be a different sales slightly different than what my store ends up having um, or you know the ad that I get so I've got a couple of cold things nothing's frozen so I want to get through this as quick as possible um, but we ended up spending 38 I think at Jewel I did like I said I didn't get the lettuce but I did get blueberries I kind of glazed over and didn't notice that they were included in the sale their blueberries were 166 and um, they were like it was like most I think all of their berries this week were five for three dollars five three dollars no i'm sorry five dollars for three so they were dollar 66 each um and i saw aldi had theirs for 1.99 and i don't know why i just looked over the blueberries and didn't even notice that they had those on sale or that they were included so i ended up once i got there and saw i was like oh that's cheaper i'll grab those so that was something i was going to get for more money at a different store but i ended up throwing that in there um and i did wind up getting the strawberries too um so anyways, I'll share this with you guys. So this whole haul, everything on this side of the table, like I said, was about 38 and some change. And then over here at um, Caputo's this week, this stuff, um, just these items were probably around 13 bucks. We also spent, we spent in total 20, just about 25, I think. Um, we ended up getting um, the pizzas, the two pizzas, which were $6. Um, and our cashier was really good too because she caught they didn't come up at the $6 price. I told you guys sometimes they don't always, that doesn't always happen. So she ended up, was able to get those and had the manager override it. So we did get them for six bucks. <laughs> like we did last week, one of them was six and the other one was eight ninety nine. So um, yeah, like I said, those ended up, those are in the oven right now cooking. So this in total was 25 but that includes the $12 worth of pizzas that we got for dinner tonight. Um, and so this stuff, like I said, was around 13 or so for the produce items right here. Um, but I'll go over Jewel first. These were their sizzling hot offers, um, which was all with in-ad coupons, um, or not in-ad, they're clippable coupons, they're mobile coupons. So these are the ones that are sort of generic. Those will most likely be for all the accounts. They're watermelon, this stinking huge watermelon. 
$5.99 and there's a $5 coupon, so it's 99 cents. And like I said, this is huge. So um, I think I paid like $2.99 or $3.99 for that little one over there that I still need to cut up. Um, I normally get one and let it sit for like about a week because then I think it tastes sweeter. Um, but regardless, I have that one that I need to cut up. But this one was only 99 cents and it's huge. Um, and then with the Dan and Yogurts, these were all um, 69 cents, I believe, with the coupon and they were a limit of five. So you could do the deal five times and not just like it was a limit of one. So we ended up getting, um, like I said, five of those for my dad. He likes to do yogurts. They had his favorite banana cream pie, which he's not a huge fan of Greek yogurt, but um, I think he eats them more since we've been getting such good deals on them. And then with the K-Cups, uh, these were $3.99 with the in coupon or clippable coupon, mobile coupon. Um, and these were a 10 count of the Dunkin' Donuts coffee. We have been getting, I told you guys, we're subscribed to the Keurig, um, you know, because we got the new Keurig maker. And so they had like a subscribe deal um, where if you got like so many boxes delivered over a period of time, you would get the Keurig for half off. So we we're like, hey, this actually, it works out to be a pretty good price where it ends up being about five dollars per normal size like a cup box like a 10 or 12 count um and so anytime that i can find them for under five dollars i wind up picking them up still because again that's i figure that's the better price I think at Aldi, theirs are either $3.99 or $4.99 too. So whenever we can get a name brand that isn't just a generic brand and it's a better deal, um, we'll go ahead and, like I said, grab those. So that was a good price. And then with the cookies, these were a limit of two. Um, so we got two packages of those. The Keebler cookies were $0.49 cents with that in-ad um, or clippable coupon. So those were the Sizzle and Hot offers in there. That stuff in total ends up being about about 6 7 bucks for all of these items just here. Then um, we did end up doing... Doing a coke deal because my mom's a diet coke drinker and she's just about out um i think maybe she has like a half of one package left but we have not bought pop since like the fourth of july sales so we ended up going ahead and doing this deal they were 9.99 for three which isn't the best price for like 12 packs but um they, uh, I think at Aldi they're normally $4 or $4.50 or $5 even. So something around there. So whenever I see a deal that's better than that price, like around three or so dollars per, um, you know, uh, 12 pack is a good price. So that was $3.33 each. Um, so we got one regular Coke and then two Diet Cokes. And again, that will hopefully keep my mom. She has actually been doing really good too. She's not been having as much Diet Coke. She's been drinking a lot more water and she also really likes iced tea as well. So, um, she has been not like she used to go through almost a 12 pack a week. <laughs> so, um, like I said, the last time we bought any was over 4th of July and we haven't had to buy any more since then. So that's been, you know, um, almost, you know, almost close to two months now. Um, and then the couple of other deals. Now this was the cheese. Um, it, I was getting a little close to being out. So I was thinking of getting some this week and I actually saw Jewel had this on sale for $5 for their big, like 32, I think it's a, I don't know how many cup, um, but the big ones, um, it's the two pounds, maybe it's eight cup or something like that, um, package. And Aldi has one too, but I think theirs is $5.99 or maybe even $6.99 or something like that, or like $6.50. Um, so $5 was a great price. Then I went into my account and saw, because I bought this in the past, the last time they had a sale on it, they actually had a clippable coupon that would make it four four seventy five so it's 25 cents off also so i was like that's a really good price um you know i was gonna get it most likely anyway but then saw that and was like hey even better deal so went ahead and picked up that um and like i said normally buying in bulk is how we wind up doing it with like um cheddar cheese just because we go through it i do quesadillas all the time so we can go through it every again couple of weeks um and then the beyond burgers now these were not the best price but there was a nice little bonus in there that I wanted to do and um you know it's kind of towards the end of grilling season I don't know that I'm going to see these on sale a whole lot more um and I think over fourth of July weekend again I got a better deal on them but they're only a two pack they were on sale for $4.99 which is five bucks um you know again kind of a little expensive but they are I love these they taste so good they taste like real meat guys for 
not having real meat in several years now to me they taste the most like actual meat um and it's so worth it like i like having a good actual wholesome tasting burger instead of like you know a veggie patty or something like that it tastes like meat um so i really like that but the bonus was when you bought any of the beyond um products that week i think or like this week they ended up uh you would get a free 20 ounce um frenchie's mustard so this was normally two dollars but it was free when you bought this so in total this was i think normally 5.99 and this was again uh two dollars so in, in total both of these items we ended up saving three dollars on and only spent five not the best deal but again i would normally pay like almost retail price for these every once in a while because they're a nice treat to have so it was a good deal then this one too this was not included um i don't think in like any ads or sales or anything like that and it wasn't even marked at the store but in my account because i bought these now twice um this rebel green bath tissue um they had a sale a while ago several weeks or maybe a month or two ago um for three dollars and um, then they had another one in my account later on for another $3. They had it again this week from, I think it, like I said, maybe just my account. Um, but most likely if you bought them while they were on sale, you, you might get that uh, coupon as well. So these ended up being only three bucks. They're normally $7.99, I think, or $8.99 maybe or something like that. And it is a, like a green alternative bath tissue. And I'll tell you guys too, we're going through this package right now. It's actually, the rolls don't look super huge, but they actually are pretty good like the rolls last pretty long because at first i was like oh these are so tiny it works out to be about a quarter per roll but it i think it's a really great price um and for something that's a green alternative as well so um yeah it's a uh like a um tree free toilet paper so anyways went ahead and got that deal and then the um produce ended up like i said the blueberries were $1.66 and then the strawberries were also $1.66 we got three of them so they were five bucks for those so that was, like I said, that was my haul from, um, from Jewel this week. And then over at Caputo's, I cannot remember exactly all of the prices of all the things. We got 10 limes. They were 10 for a dollar, um, which I think a couple weeks ago I had to spend a dollar for only five because they didn't have them on sale anywhere and I was out. So I again, grabbed some of those because I love to do those with my avocado chickpea salads. Got some more avocados, which weren't listed in the ad originally, but they were 79 cents, I think. Um, so I ended up picking up four of those. I normally get them in Aldi if I don't, um, you know, if they're not on sale anywhere. So this was probably a better price than what Aldi they would have had them at um green beans were i think 79 cents per pound they had a nice pre-packaged bag i think we spent a dollar something maybe or close to that um or maybe it was about a pound so maybe it was about the like 70 something cents um the bananas i think were 33 cents per pound the corn was a dollar for three so we picked up three of those brussels sprouts i think maybe 49 or 59 something cents can't remember exactly what we paid i, I know it was under a dollar i saw that ring up the organic bell peppers which these guys are stinking huge they're like can you guys see in my hand how ginormous these <laughs> bell peppers are they're organic bell peppers i think they were 59 cents or 49 cents per pound we ended up paying about a dollar 15 or dollar 50 or something like that and then the grapes were i think they were a dollar 50 per pound we got two and a half pounds so i think it was right around three something for those um and then again the two um what's it called the two pizzas that are currently in the oven right now and i get to use my nifty light because i've i always keep forgetting that we actually have an oven light and you can see through the door the other oven we had the door the window was so small you couldn't hardly ever see actually into the oven so um yeah we got those two pizzas going in there right now so like I said, guys, this was my redemption week. I'm very happy that we ended up, everything ended up working out. It was a little bit of a bigger haul at Jewel this week. Um, not quite as much stuff other than the produce at Caputo's, but um, I was pretty happy with how everything turned out and worked out. And again, for the, the Coke normally is kind of expensive and even getting some bath tissue too, which I've been happy we've been stocking up on that too. And again, you know, a couple of other little things that weren't great deals here and there, but we ended up saving, I think, 
49.49 I believe was exactly what it was and it was like 57% or something like that so again a couple deals that weren't the greatest my Beyond Burgers the pop um, you know the cheese probably wasn't the best price but it was something that again I probably would have bought at Aldi and figuring that I still would have ended up saving a dollar or two versus the Aldi price is better for me in the long run buying it at you know when it's on sale at a different store um, than what I would pay at you know Aldi so I'm gonna go ahead and get all this stuff put away um, and most likely we'll talk to you guys later in the afternoon well guys I am trying to make sure that I get to bed at a decent hour so I can get up early so we can go to grocery stores tomorrow because I think I told you guys this week I have not been waking up super early so I'm hoping that I will get like I said, get an early shower, get to bed early, so I'll go to bed early and hopefully be able to wake up early. That would be the goal. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you guys did, make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up. If you guys are new, we'd love it if you'd subscribe, and I'll see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog. So bye guys.